Back in my review of Castle Quest, I used The Legend of Zelda as a kind of yardstick for world size based on number of screens. The overworld map in Zelda, 128 screens. The castle in Castle Quest, 200 screens. And not to be outdone, Legacy of the Wizard clocks in an immense 256 screens, 16 wide by 16 deep. They come together to form a massive catacomb right beneath the house of the Drasley family. Said family is charged with killing the ancient dragon inside the dungeon because, well, that's what they're there to do. It's in their name for crying out loud, which coincidentally is the same as the series' Japanese title, Dragon Slay... uh... Slayer. Yeah. Alright, so the Drasley family is five strong, there's mom, dad, brother, sister, and the dog-ish monster thing. Each have their own strengths and weaknesses, as well as limitations on what equipment and items they can take with them on a dungeon delve. Once in the underground, there's a bajillion constantly respawning enemies, as well as treasures lying about, inexplicable shops and inns, and the occasional boss fight. These come after collecting the crown items embedded deep in the caverns, which unlock the magic sword, which is then used to kill the dragon. Or so it goes. In reality, it'll take a clever utilization of each member's skills and abilities, as well as some hardcore puzzle-solving and maze-running skills to make it to the end. It took Arno 17 and a half hours, and he had a support team drawing maps for him. Fortunately, you have access to a password system back at home, thanks to Grandma and Grandpa Drasley, who, due to a clause in their contracts, are exempt from having to navigate the death trap. We recognize Legend of Zelda, Dragon Warrior, and Final Fantasy as the triumvirate of RPG-ish things on the NES. I added the ish because Zelda's inclusion in such a list is always a point of debate. But Legacy of the Wizard, while much lesser known, is every bit as deserving as these quests. Its lineage, which includes a tangential connection to Faxanadu, but little else known here in the West, might not as be as well known as some of Falcom's other offerings, like the Ease series, but if you're up for a high strategy RPG platformer hybrid, particularly one with some catchy music, have a seat with the Drasley family. Just don't ask them to explain why they feel compelled to spin around when dying. I'm to understand it's a rather touchy subject.